This 4th of July, thousands flocking to South Padre Island. Check out this view from our Sky 5 camera. The beach is packed. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Dina Herrera Garza. And I'm Rudy Mireles. Big crowds mean lots of business for local restaurants and bars. Channel 5's Cassandra Garcia joins us live at the island now. Cassandra, how's business looking out there right now? Well, Rudy, one business I spoke to says sales go up on the 4th of July by 10%, while another says sales go up about 25%. And this year has been nothing short of that for each of them. It's no ordinary Tuesday on South Padre Island. We came out today to celebrate freedom and liberty. We got here about 8.30, 8.45, and the beach was already crowded. Traffic wasn't too, too bad, but parking after 8 got really jam tight. Hundreds of beachgoers flock to the island to celebrate the 4th of July. The 4th of July is always one of the island's busiest weekends, but this year's Tuesday holiday made for great business, five days in a row. Normally, if it's closer to the weekend, we see the weekends getting jam-packed. Not so much this year, landed on a Tuesday, so we've been seen a pretty generous stretch of people coming in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Overall, the weekend was really good. Yesterday was better than expected, and today is shaping up to be a great day. Wana Wana Beach Bar and Grill's general manager, Brian Bell says sales on Monday night were even better than Saturday night. Roughly 10% up, and then with Monday being an exception, almost doubled what they would be on a normal Monday. With restaurants and beaches packed, the causeway will be too. It gets worse and worse, and when I was driving back at 3 p.m., it was past the high school. Bumper to bumper traffic is likely. And we're likely to run into that some of that bumper to bumper traffic on the way out of here. Now a reminder to us all be patient and keep some space in between the car in front of you and your car. Live in South Padre Island, Cassandra Garcia, Channel 5 News at 6.